Yo, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video where we discuss everything Call of Duty related. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Yet again, you guys and girls keep on absolutely smashing that like button, so a big thank you to everybody. Same goes today. You know, once this video gets 100 likes, I will upload immediately, or as soon as possible, another video discussing whatever I feel like talking about in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So, yesterday's video, guys, I kind of feel a bit embarrassed about it right now. I made a video just talking about that skill-based matchmaking, I kind of think that something's changed um, within the parameters of skill-based matchmaking, SBMM, whatever you want to call it. And as soon as I made that video, later on in the evening, I went on and played the game. I was kind of surmising that maybe now, you know, because COD's on Game Pass, that there's a lot more people playing Call of Duty. Um, so therefore, there's more casual people playing it. Because, again, towards the back end of Modern Warfare 3's life cycle, the only people left playing that game were the sweats anyway. You know, people who just play Call of Duty and nothing else. So I kind of made an assumption incorrectly. And again, I'll hold my hands up, guys. I do apologize to you all. They, they changed something within skill-based matchmaking in the game, either from a programming level, or maybe that just there's more casual people playing the game. And here I am, one day after making a video, just completely disagreeing with yesterday's video. I must have just got lucky. I must have got lucky that, for some reason, Activision was like, right, let's give this guy two or three days of decent-to-play lobbies where... I do actually quite well, and again, I'm not a top 5% player, where if you are a top 5% player, regardless of whatever skill-based matchmaking they have in the game, you're going to be able to do well pretty much every single game anyway, just because there's not enough players there for them to match you exactly to like a 1KD um, threshold, because you're that good at the game if you're top 5% that it's never going to be able to match you against you know, six other players on the opposing team to actually balance it out so you're all as good as each other. However, when you're a casual like me, you know, I play loads of different video games. I've got no muscle memory or anything for Call of Duty because I play, you know, I still play Apex Legends. I still play a bit of X Define, even though I'm kind of at the verge of giving up on that game. You know, I play loads of different video games, so I don't even have muscle memory from the likes of people who just play Call of Duty, nothing else. Um, so obviously, skill-based matchmaking, it's pretty easy for the game to maintain a 1KD ratio on somebody who's got a massive pool of players to be put against. And yeah, guys, pretty much the gameplay you've seen in the background is just like every single game now I play in. I'm sure maybe in two or three days' time, Activision will probably think, yeah, we've gave this guy, you know, enough lobbies where he can't even get a 1KD. Let's throw him in with some lesser players now. But it just sucks, guys, doesn't it? It's like... It's like you cannot have fun on video games anymore. There's no point to play a video game with the intention of getting better at it because even if you get better at it, it makes no difference. You know, your gameplay is still going to be the same old boring 1KD experience, which, unless you're a top 5% player, that's all you're going to ever get. I know there's other YouTubers who are critical of you, uh, critical of Call of Duty. They have much better gameplay than me because, well, number one, they play Call of Duty and nothing else and they have a lot more free time on their hands. You know, they're not casuals. Like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, The Rick. The Rick has really good gameplay, but he's not a casual guy. He streams every single day, he uploads videos. He's not really a casual at Call of Duty. I don't think he plays any other game, correct me if I'm wrong. So, you know, that that's just what he does, and he does it very well. Um, so obviously, even with skill-based matchmaking in the game, he can still get incredibly good gameplay because he's, you know, a top 5% player. That's kind of what level I think he's at. Again, there's other YouTubers out there like... Eight thoughts, blame truth. They're similar to me, you know. They're just dirty, filthy casuals. Even foolies, I'd say, is a bit of a sweat. Same as the break. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. I just mean that, you know, they're better at the video game. Um, and a lot of people seem to think that, oh, you can't have an opinion on Call of Duty if you suck at it. Or even if you're average. Like, the amount of people I get in my comment section saying, Simon, you're just moaning about it. You're mad cause bad. Which just immediately to me means that you've got an IQ no higher than 50 because you can't have a debate with me. 
you know, considering that I once played, you know, LAN tournaments when I was a lot longer, don't get me wrong now, I'm in my 40s, guys. I'm old as hell, you know, compared to the majority of games. But, you know, when I go on these websites where you can, like, you know, click your mouse button and it kind of gives you re reaction time, my reaction time's still, you know, in the top 20% of people worldwide, um, you know, based on being a male. Um, under 40 years old. I think it... No, no, it just did it on my... It just did it that I was a male and I was in top 20%. So, I'm pretty happy with that result. I don't know if it's good or bad, but... Yeah, top 20%, guys. So, by all means, I can actually still do well at a game if I main it. If I get the mechanics right, you know, you get to the point where you don't even have to think what, about what you're doing, what button you're pressing. It's just a shame that... Call of Duty continues to push this because again it, it must make them money it must make them money but again like I've said in various other videos it's just a pathetic way of you know just playing video games like yes have skill based matchmaking in ranked modes but like the amount of times I get shot around corners you get you, you, you still get packet bursts in this game and that's obviously down to the developers wanting this game to just be a 1kd experience for I'd say 90% of players. 90% of players are going to get the 1KD experience. And you can even look at videos what Nero's done. Like, Nero did a video where... Again, I'm sure most of you already seen this video because Nero's huge. N Nero did a video where he created a brand new Call of Duty account. He downloaded Black Ops 6 and he played with that account. And actually watching it, it is comical how bad the players are he's played against. He's literally just running rings around them and they can't even kill him. And that's obviously the problem with his skill-based matchmaking. And we've not even discussed, like, the whole two-boxing thing, which I've said in other videos, that you're going to get people cheating anyway to get around the skill-based matchmaking. It's like, I watched a Blame Truth video earlier today where he said in the video, and don't get me wrong, I enjoy Blame Truth's content, not going to lie, but some of the things he does is shady as hell. Where he actually says, don't worry guys, this is not a sales video, this is not a sales pitch for SPMM off, which is basically just a VPN service, but instead of it being a monthly subscription, he's trying to get all his viewers to spend 40 quid, $40 or whatever, to basically avoid skill-based matchmaking. You cannot really get rid of skill-based matchmaking with a VPN. All you can do is kind of increase the chances that you're not going to actually be in with loads of sweaty players. And to be fair, guys, that's only going to work for the really, really good players. If you're an average player and you try to go on a VPN and go to, like, Egypt or somewhere like that, yeah, you might get slightly easier games, but 40 quid? And you can't even have it on a monthly subscription. Alarm bells should be ringing, guys, for any VPN service which will not let you do it on a monthly subscription. Because, like, there's loads of VPNs out there where you can try a month for two or three pound. And then you can cancel. The only reason SBMM off, as it's called, um, according to um, Blame Truth, is that apparently that it does something different, guys. Blame Truth we're talking about in his video. But, yeah, it's not a monthly subscription, guys. It's just a one-off fee. You only pay one time only, but it's 40 quid. Sorry, $40. The only reason it's got a one-time fee is because they know that people are going to download this within a couple of weeks they're going to realize that there's no magic fix to get out of that so this company wants to get 40 quid off you immediately instead of just getting a month's worth of vpn usage which is five dollars at most it's kind of crazy like come on you know blame truth i like your content but stop trying to scam your viewers mate it's as bad as that hair growing device what eight thoughts keeps going on about where you were trying to sell that to people which i don't even know what happened, all I just see is eight thoughts taking the piss out of him <laughs> for trying to sell people a hair growing device or something. I, I, guys, I don't really know what he was talking about. You know, if somebody wants to let me know in the comments section, kind of give me a bit of a broader view on what the hell was going off with those videos. But guys, you can't really get around skill-based matchmaking unless you're two box. That is the only way you can get around it, but... Why am I going to care enough as a casual to actually, you know, get a second account, join my second account, just to try to enjoy fucking multiplayer, guys? It's a sad, sad situation that, not just Call of Duty, but Call of Duty Black Ops 6, that there's no point even trying to be good at a video game anymore because you're just going to end up not enjoying it. You may as well just get absolutely smashed out your face 
and just play the game and not really care because it doesn't matter if you're giving 10% concentration or 100% concentration, you're still going to get the same gameplay experience, guys. It's just going to put you in with worse people if you're smashed out your face. So yeah, that's really pretty much it, guys. So again, big apologies for yesterday's video. It's kind of wrong what I said. But at the time, guys, it was right. At the time, it was right. Like, Activision proper bait and switched me or whatever you call it. I was kind of, like, hoping that, wow, they've actually done something. But, like, even some of you guys kind of warned me in the comment section saying, whoa, Sai, don't get, don't get me straight by this. And I was like, no, guys, it's fine. And even the maps, guys, right? I'm, I'm going to probably make a separate video talking about maps in a bit more detail. But I kind of was enjoying the maps, but... The more I play them, the more I'm kind of, and, and again, guys, I'm only like level, what, 15 or 16. The more I play these maps, the more I just think, who the hell designed these? Like, the there's no flow. There's no, like, you can spawn behind people, like, pretty regular. Like, normally, if you're playing Domination and you've got A and B and, there's, and, and they've got C, you kind of take it for granted that they're spawning on C, but... I've had it where they don't spawn on C, they'll spawn on A and I'll get shot in the back and it completely ruins my streak. It's like, along with Skill Ace matchmaking, it's like the developers of the game have kind of got obsessed with that everybody wants every single map on the game to be like really, really fast paced like, I don't know, Shipment for example, or Nuketown. Not everybody wants that, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have those maps within the game. But it's not the be-all and end-all. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm old as hell now. You know, I'm early 40s, guys. Maybe I am the problem. Let me know in the comment section. Am I the problem? Am I really? Let me know. So, again, big thank you to everybody for supporting the channel. Getting loads and loads of new subscribers. So, a big thank you to you all for that. I, I know my videos aren't the best. I know I say it, guys, pause, um, a lot and everything. But I try to... Do a video in one take. I don't really want to script anything, even though a lot of people say, oh, Simon, you should script things. I'm like, well, I've got to nearly 40,000 subscribers and like 20 million views on my YouTube channel over the years. I've done pretty well, I'd say. Just doing it the way I'm doing it. And I know I don't get that many views now compared to what I used to, but, you know, I enjoy doing it this way because I just think it comes across as the most honest way of doing something. I'm not thinking about what I'm saying before I say it. I'm not scripting anything to try to make myself sound intelligent, you know, because if I wanted to do that, I'd just go on, you know, and chat G GPT, AI or whatever, and just say, please write me a script about this, this, and this in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and boom, it'll pop up a script within, like, 30 seconds, and then I can sound like, you know, exclusive ace or, you know, somebody who's really analytical um, when it comes to Call of Duty stuff. So, yeah, big thank you for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it, as always. If you've watched right until the end of the video, do what I always tell you to do, guys, for the algorithm to help promote my channel further and wider across the internet. Just type in the comment section, Black Ops 6 sucks. Love you all. Take it easy. Goodbye for now, my friends.